Well, good Sunday morning to you, Servant House family and friends. Thank you for joining us, and I pray and hope to see you in service just a couple hours from now, 10 o'clock, uh, right here on campus. Today's devotional, we're going to briefly take a look at what we, uh, a topic that probably goes counter, dependence and surrender, if you will. Those are probably two words that we strive to, uh, we're kind of programmed, if you will, in our mindset to to be independent and to never give up, you know. But one of the things we're going to see here, how God has set it up, he shows us how to actually win when we become dependent. Let's look to the Lord. Father, we thank you for this time. Once again, Father, for our time of devotion. Now bless us now as we read in your word, Lord, and learn how dependence and surrendering to you, Lord, can bring, can bring about a winning they bring about us fulfilling our full potential that you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, as I said earlier there, we're kind of, we think it's, 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 it's more to be independent. Well, God never meant us to be independent per se, but he meant us to be interdependent upon one another and dependent upon him. You might say, how do you, how, how do you know that? Where, where do you see that at? Let's look at uh, a passage of scripture here, 2 Samuel chapter 22, uh, in King David's life, where he comes to that realization. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 17. It reads, he sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. Second Samuel chapter 22, verses 17 through uh, 19 there. Now, as I was sharing dependence and surrender, keep in mind here, David is a warrior. Now, if you're a warrior, a fighter and whatnot, then you have, the, have to have the mentality of, you know, to, you, that you're, you're a conqueror. You know, you're going into battle to win. You know, so sur having a mindset, a confident mindset, certainly that has its place. But one of the things that David comes to understand here, and he, and he acknowledges it, that, hey, there were certain enemies that he had to, that he acknowledged, verse 18, verse 18, it says, for they were too strong for me. You know, it's one thing to go into a, a particular battle or whatever, and you, you, you can see you're, 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 you're bigger, stronger, or whatever, or you have, you know, way more men or whatever, so you already have the mentality that, you know, you're going to easily defeat them. But God situates David in this particular season, in this area, time of his life here to recognize and that's 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 hard for a person you know a fighter to acknowledge hey he's he's too strong for me he's too big I I don't know if I can win here you know but God situates David in this position for a purpose in fact he situates him for the purpose of showing him how to depend on him you see here how he says in verse 19 he says they confronted me, talking about those who were too stronger than him, confronted me in the day of my calamity. In other words, it looks bleak. It, this is a time that, you know, you know it's, it's like, oh, this is it for us. You know, you know we're done for. You know, we, 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 you know, we're out. We're out of strength. And we, 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 maybe we're outnumbered or whatever. You know, we're, we're done for. In other words, he was in a position that, there was no way out. He couldn't win. He, he didn't have the strength himself. But it says, but, you see the word but there? Here's the change here. But the Lord was my support. When he recognized I'm out of physical strength, I'm out of my physical capabilities, abilities, if you will, strategizing or whatever, but the Lord comes through in a miraculous way. He comes through in a way that I know it wasn't by my hand, but it was by his hand. It brings about, God uses it in a way to 
help us to always depend on him. In other words, to never stand in, in our own strength or believe in our solely, I say believe solely in our own way. You know, the, the, the Proverbs 3 and 5 talks about um, uh, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. In other words, he said don't lean not to just, just your understanding. You know, but we're to put God first. God wants us to know that we, that excuse me, that he is our support, that he is our shield, that he is our banner, that he is our, our strong tower. He is our rock. We learn this by him positioning us in a position of dependence. He has to break us down till we see that, hey, there's nothing that I can do to improve this situation. I'm not saying that, that we're not to uh, take responsibility and do what we can, but understand that if uh, God will get us to a point that we can see that, hey, there's nothing that I can do to overcome this and I have to depend on the Lord. Well, he wants us to depend on him even from the start, even though uh, uh, when he told David to go up and, and um, uh, go into battle with certain certain uh, 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 groups of people. And he tell him, I've delivered them into your hand. David went in the confidence of the Lord. He knew that the Lord was before him. He was going and that the Lord was going to situate it, so to speak, to turn out for his victory. Well, likewise for us. God situates things, God situates us, I call it situate, uh, in, a, in a matter that, hey, we find no matter what we do, we can't do it. And God specializes in that which we can't do. The impossible is possible with God. He wants us always to remember to walk in a surrendered way to him, in a dependent way. I'm dependent on the Lord. And that's how David, you know, in this psalm here, he's praising the Lord. He's praising the Lord and he's, you know, making it a, 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 a broad, sh a, a, a loud shout of it, you know, in the sense that, hey, it was the Lord that delivered me, not my strength. It was the Lord that did this, not our strategy, not this and that. And guess what? God then got the glory. But that's what he wants to do in our life. He wants to get the glory. But in order to get the glory, we must be dependent on him. We must not think independently. Sure, I know there's a certain high, if you will, that comes with, hey, I did this. I, you know, I mastered this or whatever. You know, I made it happen and whatnot. But in a way, it's really vanity. When we come to the point to understand, hey, I did this through the Lord. The Lord did this through me. That, bring, that will bring true fulfillment and contentment as well as give God the glory for us being dependent on him. So remember that as we go about our day, dependence and surrender to God is the key to victory. Let's look to the Lord. Father, thank you for showing us Lord, that we are to depend on you. Lord, that we are to surrender our will to your will. We then find fulfillment. We then find contentment. We, we then find accomplishment, oh Lord, that can never be done outside of this. Thank you so much, Lord, how you're willing to work in our lives so that not only that you can be, more importantly, that you be glorified, but Lord, that we find meaning and purpose and that we find out even more and more about you that, Lord, the, you're able to scale wonders. In fact, your word says that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above that whatsoever we may ask or think. We find this out when we surrender ourselves to you, when we are dependent on you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day.